So I think these uh, call them local initiatives to group content together around one single um, OTT experience is paramount. Uh, and again, for a number of reasons. One, you know, if you look at who the competition is, whether it's Amazon Prime, whether it's Netflix, um, the consumers have a lot of choice around content. And individually, these broadcasters have great content, uh, but they lack scale and, and, and generally broad reach of, uh, around content. So I think grouping their most premium content together is a phenomenal opportunity for them. Uh, the business model um, will prove you know, whether it's, it's a subscription-based service or whether it's a combination of advertising and subscription remains to be seen, but certainly the initiatives are, are great for, for the industry. I don't know if we can call it renaissance, but it's certainly a massive opportunity for a number of reasons. One, um, you know, it creates an additional uh, inventory type. Um, you know, OTT for the longest time has been sort of this niche inventory, and it, as, us, as users and customers fragment and start viewing uh, TV-like experience, TV-like content outside of the main screen, uh, it creates a significant opportunity for advertisers to add more TV-like inventory. Uh, and for broadcasters and TV advertisers in general, it represents a significant opportunity for them because they can now build scale. So what they have to do is really aggregate all this audience together on their own platform, but also outside platforms to make sure they provide the best experience for, uh, for advertisers, the best location for, for their ads, and most importantly, the best experience for, for users and, uh, and consumers.